In this video, we're going to show you how to remove the push to start switch in your dryer. So the first thing we want to do is remove the back from the console. I'm just going to turn the dryer around so you can see that. And then this machine is just quarter inch screws that hold it on. On yours, it may be a different type of screw head. But whichever type it is, you just need to remove those screws and then slip the back out of the way. And now we can see our components and the wires that go to them. So just to make it easier for us to be able to see the components as we service them, I'm just going to free the console with a putty knife that allows me to tip it forward so we can get a better view. So to remove our push to start switch, first thing we'll want to do is remove our wiring harness. And on this one, it just pulls straight off as well as there's an extra wire that again, like the rest, just pulls straight off. So you can see the switch has a little tab that locks it into the console. So all I'm going to do is with my finger, just pull that tab back and rotate the switch and it comes right out of the console. Now your switch may be a little different where this one rotates and locks into the console. Yours may have a metal bracket coming off it and it's being um, connected to the console by a screw or maybe two screws. But that's how easy it is to remove your push to start switch.